Hello, this is the quick tutorial on how to create a custom HUD in Drive HUD. Uh, first thing when you have Drive HUD open is you want to make sure you're in the HUD tab. When you're there, you'll see the HUD creation screen. And the first thing we want to decide is what kind of HUD we're going to make. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to make a 6 max cache game HUD. So the first thing I want to do is go to the table layout and select a 6 max table. So you do this with any one. If you're going to make a full ring, well, that was going to be nine headed, and you would select nine max. If you were going to select, um, you know, heads up, short handed, four handed, or whatever, um, or for sit and go, whatever the type of max players that are at your table, you want to select that. You'll see the stats that are loaded here by default. You'll get a preview of how that will actually look like on table down here in the preview screen and over here you'll see the actual stats that are in the HUD. So if there was a particular stat I didn't want, let's say like one dollars when seen flop, I can just left click and drag and drop that over here back to the stats screen. This is where it stores all the stats and it will remove that from the HUD. You can see everything um, will update accordingly. Um, and if there's different stats I wanted to add, let's say I wanted to add some positional stats. I just click here. Say I want to see how often somebody three bets from the button. I just uh, add that in here. I can drop it wherever I want or um, drag and move it up to the place that I want um, in the HUD. And you'll see everything again update accordingly. Uh, if you look at the preview here, for example, you'll see that um, this part is kind of long, which is not exactly what I want. I, I want it to be a little more even and flush. So I want to create a new line here. And I can do that by just clicking on the line spacer. Um, and it'll add a new line here at the bottom. So I can move this up. And let's say after aggression, I'll add a line spacer. And you can see now it looks a little cleaner. There's four stats on top, four stats on the bottom. Um, I like that, so I'm going to roll with that. And now I can do some of the more creative processes where really you can open up the HUD and make it as powerful as you want. You know, once you select, which, you know, there's a ton of stats here, um, you can go in and click on this paint looking icon. It'll show all the stats that you have here. The default HUDs come with color ranges that indicate kind of what kind of player you're facing. Um, a new stat that we just added, we want to add some of that same kind of thing because it's not going to come by default. Um, so for example, let's say if I wanted to say if it was uh, less than 10%, this will show up in the HUD. It'll highlight it as red as far as the color. So um, you, can, you can add any of that for any of these ranges. Um, you can set the minimum sample. You can add a label, for example, if I want to say three bet button, I can add that. Um, note that when you mouse over, um, actually on the table, any of the stats, it'll show you what the stat is. So labels aren't necessary. Some people like them. Um, you can increase the font size, the type of font, bold, italic, etc. Any of that. So I'll increase it here. You can also change the opacity. Um, you just slide this. The further to the left you get, the more transparent it'll become. Um, so I'll keep that at full strength for now. So again, you can go through, like I said, all of the default heads will have ranges. You can adjust those um, or remove them if you don't want them at all, or just create a new HUD with stats and it won't have any of these. Once I have set what I want, just click OK. Uh, this next icon here, and again, you'll see it ha adds the label there, the three bet button. Um, the next people looking icon here is your player profiling. Comes with a bunch of default um, player profiles. If there's another one you want to create, just click Create New. You can add any range that will trigger this player icon for yourself. Um, so any of your opponents that fall within a certain combination of these stats, it'll show up and, and create show this icon um, over their name. 
you can change the icon or load new ones there's several um, ones that come with DriveHUD here that you can add or you can import your own and you can set the minimum sample size and what you want to call the label and save and export um, you can disable you can create it and just not enable it for this particular profile if you want if there's a bunch of profiles that you've created from another HUD you can import them into here because whatever you create for this specific HUD is just gonna show up only for this HUD. it's not gonna show up across all of them so you want to note that so uh, say I have everything I want here I'm gonna close this down this last icon here this badge looking thing is uh, bumper stickers and this is a really cool system that will allow you to create a series of stat ranges <clears throat> or and or in combination with any kind of filter you can um, it'll anything that triggers within these ranges um, and or filter that you add will create a little uh, bumper sticker looking icon over your HUD so this is essentially anything that you feel like will highlight um, something important that's exploitable about your opponent. Uh, for example, some of the default ones we have here when I'm done, sort of some of my C bets, and they pretty much never double barrel. Um, you can set the minimum sample size, what kind of color um, it'll show up as, and then the sticker name. And anything that you put in capitals, it's going to take the first letter of that up to three letters. So example here, I don't have and capitalized, so it's just going to show up as OD. I'll stick out on the actual HUD. Um, <clears throat> can add a description so that um, in case I forget what my uh, sticker is when I mouse over, it'll tell me a full description of what it means. Um, so you can see here, see bets at a high percent of the flop, but then rarely double barrels. I can add any kind of filter on top of that too. Anything that you think um, will be handy to to trigger that that bumper sticker. Um, it's just limited by your imagination, basically. Um, there's a ton of different things you can add in there, including you know flop texture, just a ton of different things. So you want to look at, uh, <clears throat> look at somebody who uh, c bets too often on really wet textures. Um, you can set that up as a badge or. or anything that you want you're literally limited by your imagination so it's super cool again uh, if you create a bunch of stickers it's just going to save for this layout but you can export it and you can import it into any other layouts you make say oh, I want to apply the same kind of thing to um, cash full ring um, I can just export this and then import it back in um, very simple so when I have all those uh, stats set up the way that I want them um, I just click save. Um, I give it a name, say six max cash new. Oops, I might want to spell max right. And <clears throat> it's important in the naming process. If you want something just specific for a site, make sure to put that site name in there. If you want it just for cash games, make sure you put cash games, something that's going to indicate that because it's going to be important. I'm going to show you in a minute how you're going to load that on the actual table. So uh, I have this how I want it. Six max cash new. Now I'm going to show you how to load this profile on the table. Um, I'm pause this for one second. All right, so have a uh, one two six max cash game loaded up here. Once you have one full hand played, um, you'll get the drive HUD logo and track conditions up here. Just right click click on load HUD. I'm going to select the 6 max cash game new. It'll let me know it's going to load this on the next hand. So I'll pause this for a second until the next hand plays. Or maybe it's going to finish right now. Oh, yeah, looks like it's going to, so boom. So it's going to come up. Um, if I don't want the HUD in the positions it comes up as, I can just right click and hold and drag wherever I want my HUD to show up. Um, you can see the different stats and things that'll come up here I can move them wherever I want again and this is gonna save wherever you you know position and load for this particular site and table type so once I set it now this is gonna come up as default until let's say I create a new HUD or I want something different then I again go down here and select uh, my list here from the six max 
um, table size and the different uh, HUDs I have. So super simple. Uh, one last thing, if you don't like a profile you created, you can just click delete. Um, like I'm going to do that right now. Boom, gone. Um, if I want to export whatever I did create, it'll export it into a file that I can um, share um, or later import someone else's. Um, and that is essentially a quick overview. So that should get you started. And if you have any questions, as always, ask support. They are super helpful. And good luck with your poker game.